everyone, so I'm back. Welcome to Fitness Fridays. This is going to be a little bit of a late post, which I feel horrible about, but I was busy sleeping, so let's be serious. I don't feel that bad about it. So today is going to be a little bit of a more serious topic than I've... My past videos have been, I know that I tend to be a little bit funny, a little bit sarcastic, a little bit obnoxious, but today is going to get a little bit serious. So for those of you that have been following the journey, it's been about, I want to say, three weeks since I started going to the gym, trying to eat healthier, failing, trying again kind of thing. Um, and I've lost eight pounds. Yay me! Eight pounds! Which is very exciting because... It just is. I know it's completely insignificant and about nothing, but it's eight pounds. <laughs> eight pounds that are no longer in my body, and I'm very, very happy about it. So, I started this journey because I wanted to get healthier. Was getting thin on my radar? Like, sure, why not? So the other day I was scrolling through my Facebook feed, as we all do, at least once throughout the day, and I came across this post from a friend. I will not call this friend out, and I'm sure she might see this and get extremely offended. For that I apologize, but this post really bothered me, and it hit me somewhere down in my core. And it says, So I lost 17 pounds in one week and got so sick I felt like I was dying. Was getting sick worth the weight loss? Yes. Am I one of those crazy people who will risk almost anything to get thin? Definitely. I can't even begin to understand, one, why you would post something like that in a public site. Two, why you would think that way. And yes, I'm more than well aware of the pressure that society instills on us and the idea that all women must be a certain shape and a certain size and look a certain way in order to feel attractive or look attractive or be believed to be attractive by other people. And it is a horrible cycle that I myself have been stuck in for a very long time, wanting to look a certain way, wishing I looked a certain way, hating myself for not looking a certain way. And I believe that the people that watch me and most people out there are wonderful, loving, caring beings of this world. And I hope that you can look in the mirror and see that person as well. I hope that we as a society and as a culture can change the way of thinking, especially for the younger generation that grows up thinking this way. It is not fun and it's not easy to get out of that train of thought because it's been so instilled in you by magazines and TV shows and music videos and this and that and it's exhausting to try to keep up with everything and for that, oh Jesus, I am so sorry for you guys that you have to grow up this way. but. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and not everyone thinks that way and I do believe that the way of thinking is completely changing and I hope that you yourself can change with us and realize that being thin is not worth getting sick over. It is not worth feeling like crap. Believe me, you are beautiful no matter what shape you are. You are beautiful no matter what you look like because if you're a good person, if you're filled with love and caring and compassion, then believe me, everyone will see the beauty within you. and. Everyone puts all this pressure to be beautiful. What is beautiful anyways? So yes, I lost the eight pounds. Yes, it feels amazing that I lost eight pounds. No, I did not make myself sick, get accidentally sick, hope that I got sick to do it. I did it all completely naturally and it all completely worked. I went to the gym, I worked my butt off, I ate healthy-er, I sweat, I cried, I ran, walked fast, I didn't run, who am I kidding? But I did it the correct way, and I lost the eight pounds, and yes, am I losing weight completely in a rapid pa fashion that I'm like, oh my god, look at me, losing all this weight, I need to buy new clothes. No, I'm absolutely not doing that, but I'm doing it in the correct fashion, and I'm very proud of myself for it. You should not want to get sick to lose weight, you should not be getting sick to lose weight, and you shouldn't feel proud of yourself for losing weight when you are sick and throwing up. God, what is this world coming to? It's so sad. It makes me want to just cry all the time. But I won't. I'll refrain. I've cried enough this week. <laughs> I am one of the laziest people that I've ever known in my whole entire life. And I am doing it. I'm getting myself to the gym. And I'm going out there and losing the weight. And it feels kind of freaking amazing. So if I can do it, you can do it. Believe me. My only hope is that if one person looks at this video and changes their way of thinking and possibly feels a little bit better about themselves, I have done my job because I grew up 
most of my teen years feeling horrible about the way that I looked and feeling like I just was not the ideal beauty. And I still struggle with that sometimes. I still sometimes think that I'm not a beautiful being, but honestly my beauty comes from within. I am a funny, compassionate, loving, caring person. And now when I look in the mirror, I do see a beautiful being looking right back at me. That's usually because there's someone else standing right behind me, but still. <laughs> So today I'm going to end the video with something super simple and easy and easy to remember. It can be your mantra for the day. I can do it. I can do it. No matter what it is, no matter the situation, I can do it. Go and conquer the world, guys. You can do it.